Hey guys, are you here? Today I'm bringing you a super special video on how to get started on Twitch TV. So I've been streaming like three or four years now and one of the most requested things, not even requested, but one of the most asked things in my chat is, Zaryu, how do I get started? How do I get started streaming? I've been um, telling them basically two main things and that is um, the time that you stream and I'll go into that a little bit, it's a little uh, strategy and um, the content that you bring. Those are the two most important things I think, and I'll talk about um, more of them in depth, but those are the two things I really want to focus on. So yeah, so, so many people have asked, you know, I, I start streaming, but I get like one viewer. I start streaming, uh, I stream for multiple hours, and I, you know, I'm at one, two, three viewers. Um, the first thing with that is you got to stick to it. You're not going to get viewers right away. Um, like anything, you have to stick at it. It's going to be pretty hard to um, just get viewers right away unless you're, you're already known or you get like a shout out, something like that. All right, so the first thing I wanna focus on is when you're streaming. And I think this is very, very important. So first, let me tell you how I started. I, um, no one knew who I was. I started streaming World of Warcraft and I wasn't very good. I was not even Gladiator at that time. So around like a Duelist Glad level player. And how did I start streaming? Um, I picked the perfect time to stream. So what I mean by that is I looked at the WoW section and I looked at it for many days in a row and I was like, wait a second, there's nobody streaming from like 10 p.m. onwards until the next day at maybe 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. and that's when all the European uh, World of Warcraft streamers would get online. But usually all the WoW streamers, when I started streaming, uh, whatever, 2012, there was no one streaming at around 10, 10 p.m. to, you know, all through the night. So what I did, I was, uh, I was, um, in summer at the time, so I wasn't in class or anything, but what I did was I started my stream around 7, 8, 9, 10 p.m., and I would stream all night. And what that did for me is it gave me more of a chance. There was no big big streamers online, and there was no competition, or not as much competition, so basically I had a higher chance of people like, oh, who's this dude? Let me click on him, because their favorite streamer wasn't online at that time. The, the fact of the matter is, if you're sh trying to stream and get viewers when there are big streamers, huge streamers online, it's gonna be hard to take their audience or to have their viewers click on your stream instead of theirs because, you know, they, they like where they're already at. So they're not gonna leave the big streamer to watch you. Um, even though they might really, really dig your channel, um, the big streamer's online. So you have to wait till the big streamer's off. Timing is very, very important. Um, so if you notice, maybe even like a two or three hour gap, maybe one big streamer streams every day till 5 p.m. and the next one starts at 8 p.m., maybe from five to eight, that's when you stream. You gotta find your little niche time. So that's the first thing I wanna talk about. The second thing I wanna talk about is being unique in the content you bring. This is probably more important than the first, definitely more important than the first point. I'd say this is the most important point, but um, be very unique. You can't do the same thing everybody else is doing or else why is anyone gonna watch you? You have to do something different. If you don't do anything different, no one has a reason to click on your stream. You see um, streamers that get a lot of viewers are unique. You know, when, when I first started streaming WoW um, and I have two, 3,000 viewers um, daily, what I did was 1v2s, that's what I really got known for, and 100 and 0 attempts with my friend Fusion. and. No one did 100 and O's. No one did 100 and O's. 42 and O wasn't even around back then. Um, 100 and O's, um, I don't know if I invented them, but I was one of the first one to popularize it. And 1v2 is about the same story there. And people came to my stream because they loved that. I eventually branched up to other things and that's what you can do, but you want to start with something very unique. Um, let's see, there's other examples of being unique. You can be, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be rude here, but this is just the fact of the matter here on Twitch. You can be really fat, maybe you can be really young, you can be really old, you can be um, a, a girl, <laughs> freaking, you can, um, let's see, just be really high rated, you can just, anything unique that brings people to your channel is what you should be aiming for, and I can't really tell you what that is because you have to think of that yourself, because that's what, you know, that's the definition of unique, but... So think of something unique and stream it in a time zone that big streamers aren't streaming um, and you'll be golden. So just just get the word out there, keep streaming, being consistent and uh, that's about it. So 
Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you want more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.